Hello there, I'm Julia, Julia Walker. Um, I was diagnosed with malignant melanoma four years ago and given quite a short life expectancy if the cancer had spread at that stage, but we hoped it hadn't. Um, and I had surgery to remove it, but it spread to my lymph nodes, which again I had surgery for, and then we thought I was okay, but it spread to my brain a year ago, and that has meant that it now there is no cure and there is no treatment. So at that stage, my GP and uh, also other people that are looking after me felt that it might be an idea to look into coming to the hospice to have them help to get medication right for me, but also to help with my mood and my attitude towards dying, but more importantly, to living with the cancer and what we could do to make my life better. And there was a bit of an element of thinking, oh look, if you're gonna do it, just just do it, just take me, you know. And now, I just want every single day I can get, every single day, particularly on a day like this, you know. It's, uh, and that has been the hospice. Within the first day, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure the first day whether I would like it or not. But by the next Wednesday, I couldn't wait to come back again. So, uh, yeah. The thing that has made the biggest difference to me is being with other people in the same boat as me. Uh, that, you know, when I'm at home, it's poor Julia with cancer and, you know, you feel a bit like you're sort of on exhibition almost. People come and they feel sorry for you and that sort of thing. They don't feel sorry for you here because, you know, they're in the same boat. They know what it's like. And we, we just have so much fun, you know, and uh, bingo on an afternoon is just riotous, you know. So that has been the biggest thing, I think, is the friends I've made through coming here. The volunteers are wonderful, absolutely. There is nothing they won't do. It's like having your own little uh, nursemaid to look after. You've only got to say, can I have a drink of orange? And they're running off to get it for you. And the staff, I can't begin to tell you how wonderful the staff are. They're friends within days. And you don't feel that they're like staff. They are just like friends. It's not like a hospital in any way whatsoever. You know, it's, uh, it's just a lovely, it's like a sanctuary. It really is.